Good Friday morning, everybody. I'm Jared Klein coming to you live from the NBC 29 Digital Desk with this morning's Morning Rush. Don't forget to tell us in the comments section what your favorite brand of vanilla ice cream is. We'll be going over what some taste testers had to say about that coming up in just a few moments. But first, let's take a look at the top stories over on NBC29.com. At number one, a new brewery to open on High Street in Charlottesville at number two. Charlottesville guitar maker releasing a toy designed to teach kids how to play guitar. A very interesting story there if you have any young ones in the family or if you're buying a birthday present or an early uh, Christmas present. If you're already planning for that, that's a good idea if you want to head over to that story and check that out. And at number three, UVA researchers looking for new ways to stop hearing loss. All right, well, Rivanna Water and Sewer Authority says low levels of potentially harmful chemicals called PFAS have been found in water produced by the North Rivanna Water Treatment Plant. PFAS are also known as forever chemicals. The plant is closed awaiting additional testing. Drinking water is now being provided by the South Rivanna plant, and the authority says the water is safe and constantly being monitored. All right, well, Charlottesville Area Transit, or CAT, is asking the community to give feedback on how it can improve. The authority is working to improve bus service over the next decade by creating a strategic plan. You can fill out an online survey or go to a pop-up event that's happening tomorrow at City Market from 9 to 12. All of those who take the survey will be entered in a drawing for a $50 gift card. We've got a link to that survey over on NBC29.com. A new free training program in Charlottesville aims to create work-ready applicants. The goal of Ready to Work is to connect job seekers with city employers. The 20-hour work skills program is self-paced. You can do it at your own time. People can either do it online or in person. There are no eligibility requirements here. You can find a QR code to sign up over on NBC29.com. And this is the story everyone's talking about on NBC 29 this morning. The old pie chest location on High Street in Charlottesville will soon have new life. Hogwaller Brewing is moving into the space. It will serve up burgers, barbecue, and vegetarian options along with 12 beers. Its future head chef has worked at Whiskey Jar, Brossery Saison, and Commonwealth Sky Bar. Other staff members also worked at popular spots around the city in Albemarle County. Hogwaller Brewing is on track to open its doors by the end of August. All right, we're joined now by Jennifer with our trending topics this morning. Yes. Okay, so how much do you think you would need to feel to feel money, that is, to feel financially secure? Uh, a lot more than I have. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I think uh, almost everyone can say that. <laughs> right. So there was this uh, recent survey, um, and Americans say that they need $233,000 a year to feel financially secure. Wow. Yeah. And then uh, $483,000 a year to feel rich or to attain financial freedom. So, mm. and that what's interesting is, so f by comparison, to kind of put that in perspective, yeah. um, a full-time year-round worker in 2021, um, the median earnings was $56,000. So nowhere near that. So nowhere near the 233000 that people feel like Now, I wonder, did people just throw out a number there, or did they actually go through their finances and say, okay, I would feel financially secure? Yeah, I mean, that's I... a good point. I mean, I guess I think you have to figure out, yeah, your cost of living and your mm -hmm. expenses and what you need to just kind of feel as though you're not just making ends meet. So, exactly. So, you know, I it's mean, something to think about. It's interesting where we are. Yeah. And, and you, you know, know, Powerball is at more than $500 million, so, so that could really that change can help you out there. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to get one. <laughs> I'm going to get one, too, tonight. Yeah, so, Okay. So moving on, Barbie, you know, the movie's out. Yes, I actually really out. want to go see that. I will say that. Okay, so how old do you think Barbie is? Like, how old do you think, okay, so she's been around for like 60 years, right? Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. but how old do, do you think she's frozen in time? How, like, how old do you think she is as a Barbie? Does that make sense? Like, is she 15? Oh, is, Bar is Barbie, like, because she's frozen. They yeah. say that she's frozen and she's, she doesn't age. So, I would say maybe 20. Yeah, close. So, according to the makers of Barbie, she's eight, She's 19. 19? Okay. Yeah, she is frozen 19-year-old. Wow. Okay. So, that's what she was initially meant to be. Be as a 19-year-old doll. A 19-year-old yeah. doll. Yes. But, 
Yeah, they should actually make a Barbie that she's actually progressed in age. Oh, that would be a good one. That'd be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. You and know. maybe just like throughout the years as she's progressed, like start out when she first came out and then right. like the different the fashions decades. of the different decades. Oh, that would be a yeah. great one, like the decades Barbie. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I didn't know it was, there was actually like an age, like she's, you know, yeah. this is the 19, she's 19. Yeah, I had no idea either. So that's interesting. Yeah. So, okay. This next story, quite the debate going on in the NBC 29 newsroom sunrise show. Um, the best vanilla ice cream. So there was a taste test of the top 13 top selling vanilla mm -hmm. ice cream brands. It's a blind taste test, evidently, of a panel of eight. Mm -hmm. This is their findings. Okay, I don't understand this. Breyers Natural Vanilla was the lowest at 12. People found it boring and yeah. described it as icy, but I like Breyers. I, well, we all like it. Yeah. David Rogers says it. We all were like, that's the best that's ice the best, cream. Yeah. Vanilla, that is. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, okay, so Breyers at the bottom, 12. Uh, Eddie, is it Edie's? I'm not sure. Vanilla bean, okay. Halo top vanilla bean. I've never heard of that one. Oh, I actually yeah. have. Okay, then Blue Bunny. I've had that. That's actually I've pretty had, yeah, good. Yeah, Blue Bunny is yeah, pretty good. Turkey yeah, Turkey Hill. Yeah, I'm, I'm whatever. <laughs> um, a tie, oh, it was a tie between Blue Bell Natural Vanilla Bean and the Great Value great Vanilla Bean from value. Walmart. So hmm. that's like good to know. 365 Vanilla from Whole Foods, Haagen-Dazs. I, I don't really like the Haagen-Dazs one, I don't think. Whatever. Just picture this Okay. One. Trader Joe's French Vanilla number four, mm -hmm. Tillamook, until is number three. And I do, I will say, I like the Tillamook brands yeah. of ice cream. They're really good. I haven't tried the vanilla because I, I again, yeah, I buy that. the Briars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, Kirkland Signature from Costco number two, and at number one, Ben and Jerry's. Very vanilla. interesting. I've never had the Ben and Jerry's vanilla. I always get like you know. Yeah, you Garcia always they always something. have like all the different flavors and you don't want to yeah. just get vanilla when you're getting Ben and Jerry's yeah, obviously. Right. But it sounds boring. It sounds boring, <laughs> but yeah. But Taste Hazers found that it checked all the right boxes, earning comments like sweet but not, you know, like that saccharine flavor, just the right amount of vanilla and nicely balanced. So hmm, very interesting. I'm gonna probably stick to what I know and that's Briars. Exactly. But, you know, it would be interesting to do a blind taste test yourself. Yeah, that's see, a great idea. You know, what what brands would you pick? Right. Wouldn't that be funny if we're like, oh, Ugh, Briars is the worst, Ugh. even though no, we like definitely say we Briars. love it. So, anyway. All right. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at that seven-day forecast brought to you by Michael and Son Heating. We've got a high of 91 today with a chance of some showers and storms for our uh, this afternoon. Of course, we've got Fridays After Five going on at Team Pavilion, and Dominique joins us with more. Hey, Dominique. Hey, so again, more stormy weather on the way. We'll be keeping an eye on that as we go into the day. Uh, as we're going into the weekend, again, an increased risk for severe weather. Fortunately, we made it out pretty well this weekend, but we're going to be keeping an eye on that into this week. So maybe you want to keep an eye on your plans. Make sure you have the Storm Team 29 weather app so you know what's going on in your area and you're staying safe for your uh, weekend and beginning of the week plans. Warm throughout the weekend. We're gonna be dropping a little bit. We've been really, really hot and humid. We'll be in the 80s through the weekend, bringing it back to the 90s to start next week. I am tired of this. I mean, it's what we <laughs> expect this time of year, but it is so humid, so hot. It is so humid. Oh. I've, I sweat yesterday more than I feel like I've ever sweat without working out. It was not enjoyable at all. <laughs> yeah, so I have to ask you, what is your favorite vanilla brand of ice cream like mm. if you're at the grocery store what brand are you picking oh i don't eat ice cream oh, i have no okay. idea well, <laughs> i'm the worst person to ask um <laughs> i guess ben and jerry's is good <laughs> <laughs> of course that came number one in the taste <laughs> test survey but yeah we all like briars on the morning show but i guess you were the wrong person to ask i guess i was <laughs> <No>. <laughs> sorry <laughs> do you like peaches though i love peaches because apparently this is really good peach picking season you, peach ice cream is, uh, well, when I when eat, ice, eat cream, ice cream, yeah. I actually love peach ice cream. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. Uh, but fresh peaches are amazing. I just had peach ice cream the other day at um, Carter Mountain. It was really oh, good. Nice. Yeah. It's fresh? Fresh, yeah. Sounds delicious. So, I mean, if you're looking for something to do this weekend, maybe pick some peaches, enjoy some peach ice cream, the weather. Please check the weather first, though. <laughs> check the weather first. but Probably I mean, likely afternoon and evening storms. So keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on that. But, I mean, it's hot and humid outside, so that hits the spot. It does. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Dominique. And thank you guys for joining us this morning. We'll see you again on NBC 29 News at noon. And, of course, we're always live on NBC29.com.